All right, so let's get started. <clears throat> Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the only online file reading class. Before we get started, we're going to pay respect to the Guru. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Namu tasse bagavatu arahatu samma sambuddhasse Namu tasse bagavatu arahatu samma sambuddhasse Namu tasse bagavatu arahatu samma sambuddhasse All right, so today is lesson 30, 32. Um, I think uh, most of you uh, must have seen your uh, name under a certain group. I think most names are, most names are actually, uh, were not changed. But some names were kind of uh, shuffled because I noticed that uh, when I asked some of the groups, there were there was nobody actually uh, uh, who could actually read. So kind of shuffled, and some new names were actually added. And then I uh, actually uh, removed the group nine and then kind of incorporated them into other groups. Yeah, eight groups. Is there anybody who is not in a group so far? Are all your names in a group? Are there newcomers today? Okay, we have uh, Angif. You are a newcomer. Yeah. Other than her, are there any newcomers? I hope not. All right. All right, so then we just get started. So we have uh, studied uh, up until was four. So today we are going to, to study uh, uh, stanza five. Oh, sorry, there should be, it should be five and six. Should end it. It should be sixth. Yes. All right, so let me recite first. Yang Buddha Setho Parivan E. Suching Samadhi Manantari Kanya Mahu. Now, when you uh, read the second line, you see that it's a long, uh, long uh, word because there is a combination, Sandhi. Right, so then how do we recite that part? So we had to particularly specify some words there. Samadhi is a famous word, huh? Samadhi, Samadhi Manang Tarikanya Mahu Yang Buddha Setho Parivan E Suching Samadhi Manang Tarikanya Mahu Samadhina Tena Samona Vichati. Idam Pidhammi Ratanam Panitang Etena Satchena Suati Hoki. All right, so let's ask from uh, individuals from group one. Anybody? You can raise your hand. Yeah. 
Good point. Now, folks, good point. Nobody? <laughs> now we have, I think. Yeah, anybody from group one? Identify yourself. Yeah, we have uh, we have any Anamika, Kung Fung, Chungi, Dihan, Chia, Munsi, Tichi, Venerable. Okay, group two. Yeah, Susan. Thank Please. you. I'll have a go. <laughs> Yam Buddha Seto. Parivanga yi suchim Samadhi himan antarikanya maho Samadhi ina tene samo na vijati Impadi dame ratanam panitam Etene Sachene Suati Hotu. Few uh, things to note. Uh, I think you took uh, this way, the second line, Samadhi, and you say he. So when you say Samadhi, uh, HI is a part of that. HI, Samadhi. Samadhi Imam. Uh, no, no, no. Samadhi has HI. <laughs> Already yeah. it is inside. Samadhi, oh. then, then Manantarik. So Mani Atarikanya. Okay. Manantari Kanya Ma Samadhi Ma Manan. Samadhi Man Antarikanya Ma yeah. Ma Ma You can Thank pause you. here. Yeah, and then this part uh, same. Third, third, Sorry, we... third line, third line. Third. Samadhi ina tena samo na ne vijati. Mm -hmm. Samadhi ina tena. No, samadina. Samadina. Samadina tena samo na vijati. Vijati. Mm -hmm. Then, idampi, idampi, dame, ratanang, panitang, etana, sachena, suati, hotu. Okay, great, great. <laughs> Thank <Yeah>. you. <laughs> Anybody else? Uh, maybe, oh, sorry, group three. Uh, Bante, I try. Cow here. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yang Buddha said to Pariwan Nei Suching. Sama di manan tarikan yamahu. Sama di na te na samo nevi jati. Idam pi dami ratanang panitang. E te na sace na suat. The whole two. Yeah, great. No concerns. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Group four. Uh, uh, can I try? Uh, give me a second. Jenny, are you from group? Which uh, group sorry, are you? I'm in group three. Huh? Three. Ah, uh, yeah. So somebody's, yeah. So cow's head, right? So I will give you the chance oh, yeah. after. Okay. okay, okay please. Yeah, uh, yeah. 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 yeah, KB on. Yes. Group four. Thank you, Bante. Yeah, yeah, KB on. Yes, thank yes. you, Bante. Mm -hmm. Yang Buddha Seto Hari Banai Suche Samadi Manantari Kanya Mahu Samadina Tena Samo 
नीचते समाधि ग्रुप समाधि मान अंतरी कय माहो समाधि but a uh, is not you know what do you call antarika is the proper word but because it's combined we say we say um um sound the m is what do you call substituted there just for the easy reference samadina so she said samadin antarikanyama anantarikanyama normally it has to be said samadima antarika okay great pretty um then group 7 uh, Oh uh, yeah, Mia. Try. Yes, please, Mia. Okay, Yam Buddha Seto Pari Wanayi Suchin Samadi Samadi Nantarika. Ah, uh, there's one one letter you miss. Here, this one. Samadi. Samadi. Nadarika. Yeah. No, this one. You miss this the one. M. समाधि the m has to be pronounced mm -hmm. samadhi manatarika ah. kana mahu ma mm -hmm. samadina tena samo na vijati idam pidame tanan pani ratana sorry idam pidame ratana ratanam panitam mm. then it's uh, etena sache what suvati hotu ah, great, great. Oh, yeah okay. great 
with me. I got to uh, practice a lot. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, you know, as you, uh, you know, as you practice, everything is a practice, right? I mean, it's not just mm -hmm. the chanting part. So, okay. as you uh, keep reading, so you'll be okay. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Bante. Yes, group eight. Group eight. Samadhi manampari. Anybody from group eight? Samadhi manampari. Lee Jo. Lim Geok Heng. Ho Lim Ping. Lim Sok Hoon. Christine Chu. Yu Kwang Chen Chu. Anybody? I think I try. Uh, can I know who this is? Yes, 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 yes. Are you from the group eight? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, can you scroll down the screen a bit? I can't see the top line. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Uh, yang Buddha seto pariwanya di sucim sama di manan tarikannya mahu. Sama di na ti na samo na vijati. Idampi dame atanam panitam. Ti te na sanchena su mati hotu. Could you read this part again? Yam buddha set. Yam buddha set ho. Okay. Yam buddha set ho. Pariwanyagi Suchim. Pari? Pariwanyagi Suchim. Ah, Pariwanyagi Suchim. Oh, Pariwanyagi Suchim. Suchim. Okay. Pariwanyagi. Okay, Thank great. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, great. All right, Samadhi now it's time for others. Uh, please raise your hand. So I'll give you the opportunity to read. Okay, Jenny Chong, please. Yes, Jenny Chong. Yeah. Yang Buddha Seto Pariwana Yi Suching. Sama di Manang Tarikanya Mahu. Sama dina tena samo ne vijati. Idampi dame ratanang pani tang. Etena sachena suati hotu. Yeah, great. Serena? Thank you, Bhante. Yes. Yang Buddha Seto Pari Vanai Suchin Sama di man nan tarikanya mahu Sama di na tena samona vijati Idampi dame ratanang panitang Etena Satchena Suvati Hotu. Young's SM. Thank you. Okay. Yang Uta Sito Pari Wanai Suching. Sama di Manantari Kanya Mahu. Sama di na de na samo na wija. We japti idang bi dame ratanang panitang ete nang satje nang swati hutu. All right. Could you go again for the first line, please? First line. Yang putasito. Yang what? Yang putasito. Do you say you do say Buddha or Buddha? Buddha. Ah, Buddha. 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 Buddha Sito. Yeah, Buddha. Yeah, great. Because some people, you know, like Westerners, they say Buddha. Ah. I mean, when you say why they pronounce like Buddha, you know, there's no Buddha. You would hear change. Buddha. They can't pronounce it. So it should be always Buddha. Buddha. Young Buddha. Seto. And here, fourth line, this part. 
idambe idam ha do you say idam p idambe. or idambe idambe dam ah, no no b no b panitang no b right no it's p it's p ah yeah. uh, this one no b p idam p idam p ah uh, great dam me ratanam ratanam panitang okay okay great Okay, thank uh, you. Uh, yes, yes. All right. And then we have, I think, oh, yeah. Yes, Oi. Yeah, thank you, Bante. Yeah. Yang Buddha, I'm sorry. Yang Buddha, Seto Pariwanai Sucin. Samadi mana tari kanya mahu. Samadina tena samona mijati. Idampi dami ratenang panitang itina sacina suati putu. Yeah, great. Yes. And then I'm gonna ask Po Chu Wong. Thank you, Bante. Yeah. Yes, uh, Po Chu Wong. Thank you. Yang Buddha Seto Pariwan Nayi Suchim Sumadi Manakari. Kanya mahu sama dina tena samo na pichati idamti kami ratanang panitang e tena sachena suwati hotu. All right, and then then we have uh, thank you, Sumana Shelly. Yang Buddha Seto Pariwanai Suci Samadhi Manantari Kanya Mahu Samadhina Tena Samu Navichati Idampi Dhamme Ratanang Panita Etena Sachena Suwati Kutu Great. Uh, then me Oi. Yam Buddha Seto Pari Watna It Sujib Sama Di Mana Tarika Na Mahu Sama Di Na Tena Samu Na Vijati Idampi Dame Ratanam Paneta E Tena Sachena Suwanti Hotu E Tena Sachena Suwanti Hotu ah, Suwanti Hotu And then uh, what? How did you pronounce this part? Sujib. Huh? Pak Rit buat nyak i sujib. Ah, suching. Huh? Suching. Sujib. Uh. Yeah, great, great. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, one thing to note is, I mean, it's not, it's not wrong. It's not, it's not incorrect. Like, we know that by reciting every word separately, having a pose might give us uh, a better way of pronunciation. But when we do it, we should not make it in a way other people think that we are trying to separate like quite often okay. young buddha said to pariwas can i you know keep the keep the consistency young buddha said to pariwan e suching samadhi manang thari kanya mahu samadhina tena samona vichri you know how the monks chant huh? now there's a there's a thing like in the chanting by the monks they don't uh, they don't they are not supposed to stop any place keep continuing yeah, uh, oh, it's good. No problem. I just wanted to have a short thing to say. Rashmi? Yes, thank you, Vante. Yang Buddha Seto Parivannai Suching Samadhi Mana Antari Kanya Mahu Samadhi Natena Samona Vijati Idam Vidhamme Ratanam Panita Etena Satchena Suvati Hotu. Uh, I'm kind of come. Kind of confused about how did you pronounce this part actually? I think these Sama. two words. Can you Sama. can you pronounce slowly? Samadhi Samadhi Mana Antari Kanya Mahu. Samadhi Samadhi Mana Antari Kanya Mahu. So there are no two ways though. You see two ways? Only one way over there. Yes. Ah, then how do you how do you take uh, two ways at the end of the previous one and then start with the new one? Samadhi. Sorry. Manan. 
samadhi manam manan so that's why you can say samadhi samadhi manam then again antarikan so there are no two ways to pronounce it samadhi manan right samadhi manantarik actually you have to pronounce uh, together samadhi manantarikanya manantar if i do like this maybe it might be better okay sam can i repeat it yeah give me a second i'm going to do something here samadhi smart and this part and this part samadhi manan samadhi manantarikanya manantarikanya i mean say it in one word samadhi manantarikanya then you don't then then you will not mistakenly say two a's yes samadhi 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 manantarikanya ma ah there you go yes the third line okay samadhi na tena yeah yeah good All right, and then uh, any? Yes, Mante. Yang Buddha seto pari vanna yi suching samadhi manantari kanya mahu samadhi na the na samona vijjati idampi damme ratnang pani tang ethe na satche na suvati otu. อ่าฟูสอบวนโอเคอันนี้ปันเตสัมมาทิมานันทริกัญญามาหุสัมมาทินะเถนะสัมมนะวิจิตติอิทัพพิมเมกัทธานังอันนี้ทังเอเถนะ
that's not a very uh, difficult one because there are no long uh, combined polygons. Okay, group one. Any group any one? Yes, yes, any. Go ahead. Yes. Ye phuk gala atta satam prasatta chattari etani yugani hunti ethesu dinani mahapalani idamti sange ratnang panita ethena satchena suvatthi hotu. Great. Uh, group two. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, group two. May I? Are you going to read, please? Yes, please. Uh, can you unmute? Please. Ye Pugala Atta Satam Pasata Chattari Etani Yugani Hondi Etesu Dinani Mahapalani Idampi Sanghe Ratanam Panetam Etena Satjena Suanti Hotu Itena Satchena Suati Hotu Suati Hotu Suati Suati Hotu Suati Hotu, yes. Okay. Uh, okay. It's no problem, yeah. And I think some people, I think I, I already shared something uh, about what you call uh, Suki Hotu and then uh, Suki Hontu. This this issue, huh? kind of a can be an issue because some people might use it without knowing uh, probably the the grammatical part. So I would say, uh, when you say hotu, this is going to be singular. Hontu means plural, major. That means when you uh, wish one person, we say suki hotu. May you be well. When you wish uh, many people, more than one. Suki Hontu. Right? So here, Etena Satchena Suvarti. Then I would ask someone from group 3. Group 3. Uh, Corina, yeah, can I try? Uh, yes, Corina. Ye Pugala Ata Satam Pasata Satari Etani Yugani ho ti. Te da te da da kineya sugatasa sawaka. E te su dinani mahapalani. Idampi sanke ratanam panitam. E te na sachena suaki ho tu. Is the text missing a uh, part mm. by mistake? Chatari, is it? Yeah. Did I miss up Chatari? No, no, no. I mean, I'm I'm just thinking, is the text missing any part? Bante, I think one line is, the, is lost. Yeah, it's is missing. Te dakineya. Te dakineya. Tugata. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna add that here. Yeah, that's right. This part, huh? Yeah. Gonna be adding that. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hmm? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Got it. Huh? Yeah. 
Yeah, good, Corina. Okay. Uh, Auntie, Auntie, excuse yes. me. I think the your translation is uh you copy wrongly already. Yeah, true. Yeah. Tidak kini ya sudah tak sesak betul. Ya betul yes yes. Right, yeah, yeah, worthy of our freaks that you notice. Yeah. See, yeah, much okay. Should be okay now, yeah, should be, yes, yeah, should be, yes. All right, so then the other group. Corina is from uh, group four. Pante, can I try on here? Yes, please. Ye pugala ata satang pasata chatari etani yugani honti te daki neya sugatasa sabaka ete su dinani mahapalani idampi sanghe ratanang panitang etena sachena subati hotu. Yeah, good. Group five. Uh, who will you? Yes. Okay, go ye put, uh, Okay. Ye pukala atta satang pasata chatari etani yugani honti te daki neya sugatasa salvaka e te su dinani mahapalani idampi sangi ratanang panitang Etena Sachena Suvati Hotu. Yeah, great. Group seven. Group six, huh? Yeah, group six. May I try one day? Yeah, Mera. Yeah, this is pretty. This is pretty, yeah? Yeah, group oh, six. Okay, Mera, then please uh yeah. Yeah. Turn off, turn off your hand. Yeah, pretty. Go ahead. Yeah. Ye pukala satang pasatha chattari etani yugani hoti te dakhiniya sugatas savaka ete sudinani mahatpalani idampi sanghe ratanang panitang ete na sachena Suvati Hoti. Yeah, Gani Honti, right? Honti. Yeah, Honti. Yeah? Hoti, you can't say Hoti. It's Honti. Chattari. Yeah, Honti. Plural, huh? Okay. Group uh, seven. Group seven. Yeah, some from group seven. Uh, Shelly. Ye Pugala Atta Satang Pasata Chatari Etani Yugani Honti Te Dakineya Sugatasa Sawaka Etesu Dinani Mahapalani Idampi Sange Ratanang Panitang Etena Sachena Suwati Hotu. Yeah, great. Group eight. Yeah, group eight. Limsock is yes. Okay. You gala atta satam pasata. What's that? What's that? Ye uh, ye pugala atta uh -huh. satam pasata. Chatari etani yugani honti. Te dakineya sagatasa savaka. Ete su dinani. Mahapalani, idampi sanghe ratanang panitang, etena sachena suvati hotu. Yeah, great. Now Thank I'm uh, leaving the chance to others who would like to recite. Uh, I have here Chupeng, please. Chupeng, yeah. 
ये पुगला अर्थ सत्तम पसता चत्तारी एतानी युगानी होंती ते दक्षिणीय सुकतासा सावका एक ऐसुनी नानी महापलानी इदंपी संगे रतनंग पनीतं एते न सच्चे न स्वाती होतु इस पर एतेसु एतेसु निनानि महापलानि निनानि यू मीन एन निनानि एतेसु निनानि इट्स डी नॉट एन एतेसु एतेसु निनानि महापलानि नॉट निनानि या निनानि डी 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 निनानि महापलानि निनानि महापलानि एतेसु निनानि महापलानि या वे the rest is okay. Uh, then, uh, Oi, go. Thank you, Bhante. Ye Pugala Atta Satang Pasatha Chattari Etani Yugani Ponti Te Dakineya Suga Sugatasa Sawaka Ete Su Dinani Mahapalani Idampi sangge ratenang panitang ete na sace na suati hodu. Then yapmi. Ya. Ye pungkala atas satang pasata. Ye pungkala. Yes. Ta satang pasata cadari etani. Yukani Honti Te Takineya Sukatasa Sawaka Etesu Tinani Mahaparani Itampi Sangi Ratana Paritang Etena Sachena Suwati Hontu Hotu Okay, so could you read this word? Etesu Tinani Etesu Tinani Mahaparani. Mahapalani? Mahaparani. Mahapalani. And then here? Paritampi Sangke. Itampi Sangke Ratana Paritam. Not Paritam, no R. Panitam. N. Panitam. 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 Yes. Yeah, this is okay. Po Chu Pong. Thank you, Bante. Yeah. Ye pu gala at kasat kang pasata chattari etani yugani konti. E dakine yasuga tasa sa waka. E te su di nani mahapalani. Idampi sangge ratanang panitang. E te na sa che na suwati po tu. Yeah, pwede. Yana. Thank you. Yeah, Yana with the period. Yes. Yeah, thank you, Bhante. E pugala atta satang pasata chattari etani yugani konti e dakineya dakineya sugatasa savaka Etesu dinani mahapalani idampi sangge ratenang panitang etena sajena swati hodu. Yeah, great. Then Rashmi. Yes, thank you, Bhante. Ye pugala artha satang pasatha chattari etani yugani hunti. ते दक्षिणेया ते दक्षिणेया सुगतस्स सावका एते सु दिन्नानि महफलानि इदं पिसंगे रतनं पणितं एतेन सच्चेन सुवत्ति होतु। ठीक सरिना। ठीक है बंदे। ये पुत्तला अत्ता सत्तम पस्ता चत्तरी एतानि युगानी होंती ते दक्षी नहिया सुगतास सावका ऐतेसु दिनानी महापालानी 
idampi sangge ratenang panitang etena sacena suwati hotu. Okay, great. Then we have Jenny Chong. Yeah, thank you, Bante. Ye pugala ata satang pasata satari etani yugani honti he sorry he dakineya sugatase pawuka etesu dinani mahapalani idampi sange ratanang panitang etena sachena suwati hotu great yeah full sapu Thank you, Pante. Ye kala atta satang pasata tatari e tani yuka ni honti. Pitaki neya sukka tasa awaka. E te su tinina ni maha para ni. Itampi sanke rata nang pani tang. E te na sat. Great. Um, we have Mera. Yeah, Mera, are you trying to? Trying to one test. Okay, go ahead, please. Ye pugala atta satang pasatha tatari etani yugani honti te dakhineya sugatasa savaka ete sudinani mahapalani. Idam pisange ratanang ponitang etena sachena suwati hutu. All right. Yes. Uh, are there others who want to read? Mante, can I try? Malinda here. Yeah, Malinda. Ye, ye pukala akta satang pasata. Chatari etani yukani honti te dakineya sukatasa sawaka e te su dinani mahapalani idampi sange ratanam panitam e tena sachena suwati hotu. All right. Thank you. All right. So now let's, uh, I think there are. No others who would like to read at this point. So we're going to go to the, uh, uh, what do you call the explanation part now. So, young Buddha said to Parivanna, he is searching Samadhimana Tarikandima. Now here we understand, searching means purity. And uh, Setho means highest. Buddha means the highest Buddha, which we understand by the Samma Sambuddha here. Young, uh, the, the purity praised by the highest Buddha. Now, this purity comes from Samadhi, actually. I think we discussed Samadhi a little bit uh, uh, last uh, Thursday. Um, so, the Samadhi that the Buddha talks about is not the Samadhi. Uh, that we know by uh, jhanas, you know, rupavachara, rupavachara jhana. So it is not the highest purity according to the Buddha. So the the Samma Sambuddha's purity that he attained, or I would say what he suggests, what he suggests, what he recommended us, is the samadhi which has the, the purest form of what, what it consists. This is what it talks about. Now, I will show you something very interesting here. Let's take this part out. Oh. Can I talk about this this way? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now samadhi that somebody attains through rupa, rupa, vachara, and arupa, vachara, jhanas, they are called as interrupted samadhi. But the 
the Buddha that, uh, you know, recommended uh, his own way of looking at Samadhi Baby, the way how he asked us to practice and then how he want us to attain the Samadhi is uninterrupted. We call it Anantarika. And we're going to say this one. Antarika Samadhi. There's a, ter there's a termination, you know. This one has no termination. Uh, we will call anan, anantar. All right. So here, the samadhi, as you can see, samadhi anantarika, anantarika samadhi, uninterrupted. Uh, have you ever heard any other word that ends with anantarika? Have you ever come across in the text? The, the word called Anantarik, other than here now, I just mentioned to you today. Uh, I think most probably you may have not uh, learned this way before. Samadhi Anantarik Anjimahu as Anantarik and uh, Antarik and Anantarik. The Buddha Samadhi is Anantarik, uninterrupted, non-terminating Samadhi, non-terminating. Have you ever come across this term Anantarik elsewhere in the text? Uh, today the timing is very fixed because I have a uh, have a talk to be given at eight here in Pahang, Pantan. So I will just uh, keep kind of speeding up. So uh, if you can remember, you could see Anantarika under the discussion of uh, uh, six heinous karmas. Have you ever heard these six heinous karmas? The the the. The most terrible bad karmas that a somebody can do. I think you know a couple of them. Anybody? Yes. Could you add any uh, of the worst uh, bad worst karmas? Matricide. 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 You, Wounding of a Buddha. Buddha. Killing a yeah, causing, um, causing a schism. What else? Yeah. And wrong view. Wrong view. Uh -huh. Okay, I think the, the first five. Uh, uh, okay, the, the sixth one. Where are they mentioned actually? Where are they mentioned? They are mentioned in a sutta called Bahuda Tuka Sutta. Bahuda Tuka Sutta. I will show you the English one. You might not understand. Ali. Ah, see? It is impossible for a person accomplished in view to murder their father, mother. Even they can't see your screen. Oh, sorry about that. It's working. Okay, this is Bahudatu Vasudta, right? Many elements. Majamanikaya. So Majamanikaya 115. Here you could see somewhere. Yeah, it's impossible for a person accomplished in view, that means who has Sotapanna, to murder their mother, uh, then uh, murder father, murder a perfected one, and all that. The list keeps going. Huh? There you see at a certain point that there is the sixth one. The sixth one says, because of the time, I'm going to stop at their point. Uh, the sixth one is, uh, you know, believing or trusting a teacher who does not teach you the path that leads to the ending of the dukkha. Right? So uh, the teacher has to uh, make sure that whatever his teachings or her teachings should reflect upon ending sansar. Ah, that's the sixth one. You could probably think that is not a big issue, right? That is what I listen to. Huh. But uh, it is said that, uh, yeah, 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 you said in a different way, it could be right because michaditi, people go to such uh, maybe teachers or maybe such things because they are 
I would say, uh, struggling with their maturity. But the sixth one is like that. So killing mother, killing father, killing arahants, one in the Buddha, um, creating or supporting, supporting Sangha to divide, taking Sangha side. It's, you take one Sangha side to create any other conflict with another Sangha. And then the sixth one is like this. But this creates some chaos. The chaos is karma-wise, this could be okay. But does it mean that killing a sibling is not a bad thing? Is killing sisters is not a bad thing? It, it runs us to, it takes us to a very, very complicated area, actually. So we have to be very careful because just because they are the worst, we don't, we don't uh, think that the rest is okay, right? So as good human beings, we are not supposed to kill anybody, any anything, right? That's why the karma is learning karma sometimes can create some chaos. Because when you know that this is the highest and this could be the worst, you might sort of list out the things and you might not be uh, sometimes at some point, some of them could be uh, not that uh, disciplined enough to understand certain karmas. So better to have this understanding that I'm not going to kill anybody. So there you see anantarika. That means the karma, the bad karma will result uninterrupted, like in an uninterrupted way. That means you will, you know, keep going through the bad karmas, bad results in an infinite number of lives. You don't know where is the end. So the word anantarika means non-ending, unending, uninterrupted. But here we, are, we take it in a, in a good way, you know. This samadhi, we take in a good way. So the Buddha samadhi, whereby someone attains nibbana, and thereby that person attains that samadhi, it is uninterrupted. It will not expire. Are other samadhi is going to expire, them, folks? When you practice samatha, you attain. If you, in case if you are lucky enough, whatever, <laughs> uh, if you attain rupa vachara jhanas. Are you going to be there for long? Are you, are you going to be there permanently? Or are, you may sometimes expire from those jhanas. Yeah, you may, you may. That's why the Buddha said, these jhanas, they are good to enter into the path, but you should never end up in jhanas. Samathas. Samatha is just a preparation only. You got to go into the next. Because otherwise you will end up with a samadhi that will, uh, that will terminate. Um, halfway of your journey to understand the truth. So the samadhi that the Buddha understood or Buddha talks about is anantarika samadhi. All right? Anantarika. You should take this word this way. Anantarika, then samadhi. So this is the samadhi the Buddha talks about and which he alludes as the purity. The purity in Buddhism is alluded to the anantarika samadhi which has immediate fruit at the same time, it's uninterrupted. Now here it again uh, makes sure that this samadhi is the high. Samadhina, tena samadhina. With that samadhi, there's no other samadhi can be compared, right? No equal to that concentration is found. That means the samadhi that someone attains through the process. What is the process that we are supposed to practice, Dampuks? How are the how are the uh, aggregates given to us in the noble eightfold path, so that we understand where is samadhi, where is pain, where is all that? The Buddha clearly explained to us that our samadhi is in between the sila and our the, the highest panya. Call it panya, sila, samadhi, and the high version of panya. So samadhi is a practice that takes us to the wisdom. Right, and that samadhi, when, because through that samadhi, you are attaining the wisdom. Once you, once you get mounted on that wisdom, your samadhi is unending, anantarika samadhi, and you get into the highest purity. Right, so the Buddha is alluding dhamma, his dhamma to this point, because it's true. See, idampi dhamme. This is a part of the dhamma. This is. This is a characteristic of that Dhamma, right? Whereby you getting into this Samadhi. All right. Any questions about this uh, verse? 
yes, Bhante, may I ask a question, please? Yes. Okay. Um, regarding the uh, samadhi, the concentration with immediate fruit, um, does that refer to ekagata, the sama samadhi? No. Ekagata is ekagata is a normal state of mind in Abhidham. In Abhidham, it says uh, ekagata is present even when you do a bad thing. Oh, okay. Okay. It is what okay. you call by uh, sabba chitta sadharana chetasika. That means uh, with each mental state, whatever the thoughts you are coming up with, uh, you may have ekagata. When somebody is going to kill somebody, that person has ekagata. Plan well, uh, do, uh, make a gossip, steal. On the other hand, if you want to do a good thing, you also have the ekagata. Then the Buddha yes. says, uh, bad ekagata is micha samadhi. Mm. And good day kakata is some, oh. some. I think other folks might not have understood that part. Let me write that for you. Okay. Ekagata is a neutral. I would say it's a neutral. It's a neutral. The, the, the meaning is one pointedness that a lot of people translate this to be one pointedness. But you need one pointedness for the good stuff and the bad stuff. Right? So here we call it Micha Samadhi. Here, Samma Samadhi. Now, actually, when you say Micha Samadhi, it is the uh, thinking of practicing only the mundane jhanas, whereby you get the mundane Samadhi. But before that, if there is any other evil, non virtuous, yeah. One pointedness one will be using to do any bad thing, it, they also come under Miksha Samadhi. So, Samma Samadhi is very different. This is what you are having when you are trying to do Kusala. When your mind is when your mind is concentrated on a Kusala object, then you thereby you are uh, getting this Samma Samadhi. It, it could start from a certain sure. level and it will go up to certain other levels. So, ekagata is a new, I would say, an ethically neutral word, but you understand the good side of ekagata and bad side of ekagata. Make sense, uh, Om? Yes, thank you, Bhante. Yes, very clear. All right. Thank so, you. for that, we need some Abhidhamma thing. Otherwise, we won't be able to understand. But it's we don't need to go to Abhidhamma, but Abhidhamma is very clear on that position of Abhidhamma. But even in the Noble Eightfold Path, you see as Micha Samadhi and Samasam. Any other questions? Uh, about we have Bhante, uh, Jenny here. Uh, Bhante, just now you were mentioning about the six terrible karmas that no. one can perform. So the last No, one, one should not perform. Ah, oh, yeah, sorry. Should <laughs> by not mistakes, perform, yes. by <laughs> mistake, oh, yeah. should not ever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you mentioned the last one is about a teacher who gives teaching that doesn't end suffering. So uh, yes, yeah. Uh, one thing I didn't get uh clearly is that is it about the teacher or the student who follow the teaching that doesn't end suffering? Uh, well, well. I mean, even if you go to another religion, even mm -hmm. if you go to X Y C and religion, they all talk about how to end the suffering. Mm -hmm. Right. If you go to uh, any other religion, they say what we are doing is to end the suffering. But the problem here is that finding out the true teacher uh, on which you are learning how to end the dukkha in the proper way. Because if we are not going to do, do that way, we will be with michaditi, wrong view. Because some teachers say you can be amoral, like the pre-Buddhist teachers. Some pre-Buddhist teachers say you will attain your liberation, that means in, in your ending your dukkha, by, by doing the both, good and bad. So different teachers came up in saying that these are there are different ways you can practice to end your dukkha. So I, I would say uh, finding out the right teacher, this means the Buddha, Shakyamuni Buddha, or whoever the Samma Sambuddhas that lived in the past. And then to understand that Dhamma and then uh, try to end the Dukkha by following his teachings. I think you all have that thing. 
uh, because in there there is another sutta in Sanyutta Nikaya which I can't remember. If any Dhamma talk is devoid of talking the Noble Eightfold Path, it's not going to be a Dhamma talk. Which means that Noble Eightfold Path is directly focused on ending the Dukkha, at least on a literal sense. Then, although you might not be able to put it uh, into your practice 100%, but at least you know that this is the only path. Yeah. Mm. So basically what I can say is that uh, this means exactly the Buddha, Samasam Buddha. But compared to the rest of the worse karmas, this could not be a very big issue. A very worse karma. But this is what leads somebody to create the rest of the five bad karmas. Because if we know the Buddha's Dhamma, we will never go to the first worst karma, second worst karma, third worst karma. Because they all start from a michaditi, wrong view. When you are in the wrong view, you, you know, don't know what you do. So that means if we really learn from a teacher, especially from the Buddha, our teacher is only the Buddha. Others are only helping us. So that if we learn from the Buddha, the true text, then what we really want to do in terms of understanding is Dhamma and thereby finally attaining Nibbana, ending Dukkha, then you are good. You have Samadhi at that point. All right. So then let's go to the second stanza and then now. Uh, Okay, second stanza. It's about Ye Puggala Atta Satang Pasatta Chattari Etan Yugani Kuti Te Da Kine Ya Sukata Sasamaka Ete Sudinan Yuhapa. This is a quality from the Sangha. Okay? The previous one is a quality from the Dhamma. Samadhi comes from the Dhamma. All right. The Buddha says that. There are some individuals which he praises. Now, he and other wise people. Who are these individuals? These are eight in number. Who are they? Sangha. No, we have to find out who are they. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Who are they? Eight individuals. So, Tapana. Maga Pala, Patadagami, Adami, Maga Pala, Anagami, Maga Pala, Arhan, Madanta. Then, uh, is there any uh, saying about uh, Bikku Bikuni? Because uh, now it is a part of Sangha, right? Now, these are sanghas. So it does not separate out lay people and monks or nuns here. He simply says anybody who is sotapanna, who is into sotapanna manga, manga means path, sotapanna path, and sotapanna fruit. Sotapanna fruit means someone who already became a sotapanna. So also the rest of the tree, uh, manga and palas, pala and uh, manga and palas. But there is no separation. There is no what you call separate. Identification about lay people and lay people and monastics. What does it mean there? That means when the Buddha considers Sangha, he did not particularly separate out those beings who already attain. Now you call monk who is wearing a certain robe and who has uh, gone through a certain procedure uh, in becoming a monk or none. But in terms of the attainments, he did not separate out. Uh, there are attainments uh, made by Sangha, attainments by the lay people. He said everybody who attain uh, these path and they all are Sangha. But nominally, we don't take the lay people's side. Because you don't go uh, to a lay person and offer something, right? We don't do that. We don't know who they are actually. Because everything that happens in their mindset, we never know. So Buddha, uh, doctrinally, he did not separate out lay people and Sangha in terms of the ten. That's why he simply says there are eight Puggala, not Sangha. 
eight pugala, eight individuals that uh, that have four pairs. Four pairs means mug and fruit. Sota panna, sakata gami, anagami, arna. Four sets. And then there are uh, what you call two individuals in there. So that means, how do we understand this point though? Then there are few types of sangha. Bhikkhu sangha, bhikkhuni sangha, and bhikkhu sangha, bhikkhuni sangha. Then what should Upa, be the rest of the sangha? Upasaka, Upasaka sangha. Upasika. Upasika sangha. That means if you are a sotapan, you are a, if you are a male, you are becoming upasaka sangha. If you are a female, you are becoming upasika sangha. But for the, uh, you know, cultural, traditional purpose, we don't take the Upasaka Upasika Sangha into the mainstream Sangha category. But doctrinally, we don't. We actually, we do it. That means every lay person who attain, uh, so that, now let's, for instance, Vishaka. Vishaka was a Sotapan at the time. So Vishaka is Upasika Sangha. Right? That is how we're going to, take that. So here, now what we have to understand is there are eight individuals who were praised by the Satang means who are Satang? Satang? Satang means wise people. Satang means wise people. Pasatta, praise. There are eight. So the wise people praise eight individuals. Who are they? Four pairs. Four pairs mean Sotapanna pair, Sakadagami pair, Anagami pair, Rahanta pair. I'm going to delete this part. Easy to understand. Huh? How, do we, how do we make up the four pairs over here? Sota Pannape has two, Sakadagami has two, Anagami has two, then Arahante has two. Right. Ah, now it gives further information about their qualities. Te Dakineya Sugatasasa. Ah, they all are followers or disciples of the Sugatas. What is Sugata Dhamma folks? Sugata? Buddha Buddha. Yeah, what is Sugata do? You well, know, itipiso well, bhagava araha samma samma. Well gone. Vijja charana sampan. Sugata, well gone. Well gone. That is, that is a bad translation. Gone, gone beyond. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is a contextual This is a contextual word actually. You can't give a literal translation. It's like the blessed one. You know. um, I would say Sugata means someone who's who's the path to becoming the Buddha is well appreciated. Even his physical walking uh, or moving is also well appreciated. Now there are teachings in some of the suttas where the Buddha is said to be somebody who cannot turn back very fast like us. He's like an elephant. He is compared to an elephant. Can elephants uh, turn back very fast and look back. Can they? They can. They have to take the whole body to that side. Turn the whole. It is said the Buddha is like that. Does it mean that Buddha is that heavy? <laughs> no. Noble people are like that. Noble people don't look look back. Who are coming behind us? Nowadays we have to look back. Sometimes we don't know what's happening behind. So Sukata has two areas. One is the journey that the Buddha followed in becoming the Buddha, that whole sansaric life after he started Paramita, it's a well-appreciated journey, that's one side. On the other hand, his uh, life that he spent as becoming the, in becoming the Buddha, or as becoming the Buddha, or as the Buddha, that was a well-appreciated uh, journey. So journey, journey, so to say. So when you say well-gone, that well-gone has to be contextualized on these two elements. Otherwise, well gone. We also will go. Huh? So, I mean, well done, well gone. Uh, well gone, well done, you know, well said. We don't understand that properly. Huh? 
so I say they are kind of inadequate translations done by some of the English people, you know. Anyways. Then Dakineya. Dakineya means Ahuneyo, Pahuneyo, Dakineyo. Dakineyo means what is Dakine? Worthy of worthy of, uh, worthy of gifts. Uh -huh. Worthy of gift. Uh, let's talk about Dakine, the word Dakine. We call it in Sanskrit Dakshina. This is a Sanskrit word actually. Now Dakshina means at the time of the Buddha is a Hindu uh, ceremony where a lot of animals are slaughtered in order to sacrifice for a certain object. There are a lot of animals, sometimes a lot of humans. They were uh, slaughtered, killed for a certain purpose. And then the Buddha said, especially when he went to Magadha, when he started his ascetic practices after he uh, left the palace, he said to the Bimbisar, King Bimbisar in Magadha, this is not a good one. You should not sacrifice this way. Uh, the real Dakshina is giving some food to the people who passed away or maybe to the, uh, the deserved ones whoever as it is whoever and then to make a wish or maybe then to transfer the good karmas. So Dakshina at that point turn into an offering. So we call it Dakshina. Now you see a sutta in the Majmanikai, Dakshina Vibhanga Sutta. Have you ever come up to this sutta? I think we should talk about it. Dakshina Vibhanga Sutta. There Buddha talks about four types of dhanas. Let me tell you in brief. In order for a dana to be purified, for being eligible to be a dakhina, like dakhineya, because monastics are dakhineya, they are worthy of receiving the dakhina from the lay people. But in order for making a dana for dakhineya, there should be some prerequisites. Number one, your silama, devotee, has to be uh, virtuous. Devotee should have some. Some precepts, some seed. Your seelava, seelavanti. So even the recipients who, who are taking accepting the dana should be virtuous too. Then your seelava, seelavanti, dadati dana. Dhammi the money that the devotee was able to use for the dana has to be money that the devotee earned in good ways, not the black money. Right? Not the black money who used by commissions, bad ways. They are not creating good karmas. Dhammi in a Then supasanna chitto. The mind has to be pure. Before dana, during dana, after dana. No any, any regrets. So I couldn't do this. This happened. That happened. This person did not come. This person uh, didn't bring this thing. That person did that problem in the dana. If you come up with that kind of thought, dana is going to be, uh, you know, decrease the results. I would say not result, purification. Dhamme in Aladdha, Supasantitto. Abhisaddhaham Kammapalangala. Final thing is believing in karma and the vipak. So, Abhisaddhaham Kammapalangala, Tangve Dhanam Vipulam Palantipu. Now, this is how Buddha analyzed the Dakkina. So, that means in order for you to make a Dakkina to the monastics, you have to be virtuous. They have to be virtuous. The Dhana has to be earned in good money. And then the mind has to be pure before, during, after. That means, let's say after a couple of months, you go back to the thinking, oh, it's a waste of the money. You know? Then dana will be not be purified anymore. And then believing in kamma and vipaka. This is one way of purifying dana. Now, I think the sutta further talks about more, more purifications. Sometimes dayaka is not purified. Dayaka is a bad person. The, the donor has no sealer. Then the dana will be purified because of the monks. Right? Sometimes the monks are not virtuous. Then the because of the daikas are virtuous, dana is going to be pure. Sometimes monks and daikas both are not pure, not uh, virtuous. They don't have sealer. Who knows? Huh? Who says Bhante, I have no sealer? Do the monks say that I, we don't have sealer? At that point, dana will be purified because both want to do this. Maybe the dayak uh, acquired the dana through good ways. They all have. So this way, 
the purification goes here and there. It's like kind of a zigzag road. That's why the Buddha said, Dayaka, monks or whoever, nuns, then the mind, then the money that is being used for getting the, doing the grocery and offering, even money, ampau, everything, and all that, even the kamma, they all have to be purified in that. So, Dakkina. You can read that sutta called Dakkina Vibhanga Sutta. Maybe we can just look it up just for a second. Now, ah, Dakkina Vibhanga Sutta. This is going to be Majjhimanikaya 142. You will see the purification. Huh? All right. Then we're going to go to Dakkineya. Word Dakkineya. Now we understand that these monastics or whoever. I, now here they are not talking about monastics. Here it alludes to all the Sangha. Bhikkhu, Bhikkhu, Ni, Upasaka, Upasaka. Who have attained any of the. Sotapanna path to uh, Sakadagami path to Anagami path to Arhan path. Uh, oh, uh, Sotapanna pala, Sakadagami pala, Anagami pala, O oh, Arhan pala. Now, assuming that you understand who are Dakkini, they are none other than anybody who attained to any state. They are followers of the Buddha. Now, my question is this. Can there be non-Buddhist Sota Pannas. No. Huh? Yeah, there no. is. Yes. Yes. We never know. Um, yeah. Um, there we is. never know. Because at the level of Sota Panna, but there's a there's a small issue because you have to believe in the Buddha Dhamma Sangha. Without believing the Buddha Dhamma Sangha, nobody can attain Sota Panna. Yes. It's a small issue. But maybe they have a higher mind than a normal person. Because everybody is doing dana, right? Not even you, right? Everybody, even the Muslims, Christians, Jews, um, James, uh, everybody does that. But they may have different motives, right? Uh, so uh, here, what we have to understand is there cannot be a Sotapanna, even who is on to Sotapanna Manka, without trusting the Buddha Dhamma Sangha, right? So what we have to understand is here Sangha means anybody who is on the path to Sotapanna and the rest. There can be lay people and the monastic. If you only understood that Sangha is only monks and nuns, today you learn that it is not so doctrinally. Even the lay people who have attained, they are treated as Sangha doctrinally. Not nominally outside in the temple. You can't say you are a Sangha because there is a different way of looking at Sangha. Two contexts. Okay? But doctrinally, philosophically, even Upasaka Sangha, Upasaka Sangha exist. But nominally, uh, what you call procedure-wise, you, you can't be a Sangha because you have to follow, go through the process. But doctrinally, yes. Then, now these Sangha Individuals, like Pasika, they are followers of the Buddha. Whoever is going to offer anything to them, they bear fruit. They create lots of good karmas. And this is one of the other uh, characteristics of the sun. Any questions, dumb folks? Yes, Pante on here. Um, just yes. like you mentioned about the Upasaka Upasika, um, they cannot be Sotapanna. Oh, oh, sorry, they cannot be Sangha. Sorry, I, no, I didn't get No, it. they are they are Sangha. <laughs> they are Sangha, but mm -hmm. they are they are Sangha in the Buddhist teachings, but they are not Sangha in the Buddhist society. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Yes. They are in the Sangha in the Buddhist teachings, the text. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. I mean, in the in the spiritual part, they are Sangha, but not in the Buddhist society. Buddhist society, we clearly separate out Bhikkhu Bhikkhu Ni Upasaka Upasaka. Yes. Upasaka is not a Sangha. Upasaka is not a Sangha. Uh, because they have processes. Let's say if you want to be Upasaka, you follow the Tiratana and then become a uh, Buddhist. If you want to be a Bhikkhu, you have to become a Samaneri. Samaneri or maybe you become a Hyodin. In the Buddhist society, you can't. But it, it doesn't matter to you, right? Yes. It doesn't matter to you because Buddhist society is something that consists of a different entity. What matters to you is that philosophically, teaching-wise, whether you are a Sangha or not. 
which is something that says here. to all of us hmm. e- even even uh, even uh, let me put this way let's say there is somebody a monk or a nun they are sangha in the buddhist society but they are not the true sangha true sangha is the one who attain attainment sir then yes, yes. it is an embarrassment to uh, their personal spiritual path let's say true sangha in terms of true sangha there's no barrier to lay person to become a sangha mm-hmm. then then you can't say untrue sangha <laughs> buddhist society in the buddhist society we have a different way of looking at sangha mm-hmm. thank you bhante any other questions bhante any Yes, is is there a way a person would know they have attained any part of the any level of the path? Would they know? Um, would they be aware? I, I think I think what I have heard is that only arahants can declare their uh, level of mind. Not all the time, because normally, you know, in terms of sangha, this it is a serious crime spiritual crime crime to uh, claim spiritual uh, you know what do you call uh, attainments but there's a sutta called chabbi sodana sutta let me uh, show that to you maybe you can search that it's called chabbi sodana now, this is majjhimanikaya 1126 six fold purity in this sutta buddha says something very interesting when someone proclaims that i am an arahant do not neglect that that person may be a uh, fake uh, faking about something but when someone says something you have to fa- you have to do your test you have to understand we don't we don't want to do other people whether they are attain or not but for the sangha it's it is said if another sangha is saying like that you have to test do not just you know throw away that particular declaration but for uh, your reading what i can say is that not sotapanna sakadagamis anagamis mostly understand their state of state of mind at times arahants definitely samma sambuddhis and pacheka buddhis yeah and it is not a matter to us because we know our own personality and the personal path so Thank you, mix, uh, yeah mm-hmm. yes, yes. now we can take another one more question then we will wrap this up bante excuse me yeah uh, this is yes i'm chia okay chia yes okay you're saying if someone claim to be an arahant there's a test how do we test that person read chabbi sodana sutta sorry the one i said read this sutta Majima Nikaya one one two. Ah, uh, this one. Oh, I see. Yeah, this one. This one says how to do. Actually, I think it's a waste of our time. You know, we don't want to test other people whether they attain nibbana because we have to test us. So this is an internal journey. Uh, yes. But but for the sangha, it was given to sangha because some sangha members were creating a problem at that time. Then the Buddha yeah. said to the sangha, if they are doing it, keep doing it. then uh, he advised some monks to do such but for lay people and uh, people in today's world i think we have no time to be concerned about what other people are declaring about their attainments uh, it's it's i say useless time for us we don't we don't don't waste your time for that just increase your dhamma path whatever mm-hmm. the way you can uh, so it's going to be good because i i remember there was a very funny thing happened in when i was in ottawa uh two years back there was a lady call us on sunday morning the monk who could not answer so i was directed the call she said uh, an english lady bante today morning i became the samma sambu so i oh, want okay. to come to the temple i want to test whether i am the real samma sambu i said okay. don't come here we don't do the test <laughs> kind of a hallucinations you know yes cuz they keep meditating they see colors and you know rocks these are what we call by fallacies of the vipassana life fallacies wrong indications because when your mind is just focus on something different indications start popping up so you you 
those people can mistakenly understand them to be, uh, they, they have attained certain genres and all that. They are fallacies. So what I say is that do not waste your time in knowing what other people do. The Buddha said that clearly. Deepen, maintain consistently of your practice. And while helping other people, whatever the things you can do, because when you are only focusing on you, sometimes the sakkayadity can increase in a good way. Now, people talk about Sakka, I did in a bad view. I'm not, I'm only focusing on my, but when you are only focusing on yourself, I, I do meditation, I do this, I come to the OCP, yeah, so I'm good now, I'm better than other people. So this can create some kind of a Sakka, I did too, right? You have to be very careful. Sakka, I did can come from good ways too. Yes. So we don't have lots of time to think about these unnecessary things. I mean, I'm not saying unnecessary. I mean, we, we value the time. So, Basically, it's good to um, focus on one's, uh, you know, mistakes, failures of the practice issues, right? Things where we have not done enough. Do I have enough metta? Do I have enough karuna? Do I have enough mudita? Do I have enough pekka? If I don't, then why do I <laughs> you know, waste my time, right? I have to deepen, increase. Maybe I have to need, I need some kalyanamitas to support myself, you know to, to uh, further my practice yeah those things are more important I think because we don't live that that long to practice a lot yeah one thing one yes. thing is uh, but the, the point is uh, I was asking whether to test is because if he's truly an arahant he could he might be able to help us you see <laughs> where, where we go wrong what I mean is he said our practice must have uh, gone somewhere wrong maybe he can point us out or maybe he's telling us something that is that is not right. We have no way of knowing. So if he if he makes the claim, we can test out and see. Well, he might be a real one, so we can take his word. I I think I think what is more important to us is to uh, end up a dukkha. Uh, but there may be different people who might be saying these things, you know. So we should be should not be worried about it. I mean. Unless we learn something from that person, you know, unless we learn something from that particular person. Because normally, in my understanding, uh, such people are not supposedly uh, declaring such things rather than helping as a Kalyan. You know, they are not normally uh, speaking up that way. They don't have to, rather than be being a very good Kalyan and then helping us, supporting us. Yeah. Yeah, I the think most. it's true. Uh, because yeah, I, I, they people don't, they will don't not say to... they are smart. Smart people yeah. will never declare that they are smart. They mm -hmm. don't want to stand stand out. Only the yes, fake guys you. want to stand out. Yes, yes, thank you. Right? That, that's <laughs> yes. everywhere relevant, you know. Yes. You know, it's a it's a it's a very it's a fact. What what is the expectation of that kind of a declaration? Do, do such people want to get some respect? Maybe to maybe to maybe to say that you know I'm an arahant, so from today you What's have to ego? consult me, consult me, and you know I'm the one who knows everything, you know, right? <laughs> yeah, so we such things are I think the the prominent ones. All right, down folks, I think I better uh, wrap this up at this point. Get ready for the next dhamma talk too. So uh, we studied today up to this point. Uh, I would say. But anyways, read Chapter Sotra Sutra too. Let's go. And we're going to be studying then the next two. Uh, it's about the Sangha. More, more things are about the Sangha, actually. Because Sangha is the most important facet of the Tiratana. Because Buddha is also a part of Sangha. Right? He always asks us to treat him as a Sangha. But later on, the traditions have took him out of the Sangha and treated him as a Buddha only. Buddha is a separate. All right, so let's uh, transfer share all the good karmas. May all the good karmas which we've been accumulated today be transferred to all the departed ones. May departed ones be well and happy and finally attain the supreme Nibbana. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Vidami nyati nanghutu sukita huntu nyatayo Vidami nyati nanghutu sukita huntu nyatayo Idam me nyati nang hutu sukita huntu nyateo. Medeva naga mighty come. 
receive all these good karmas, share all these good karmas. May they be well and happy. May they protect and bless all of us for good health, quality of life, prosperity, and safety. May Devanaga Mahitika finally attain the supreme bliss of Nirvana. Sadhu, Sadhu, Ittavataj Amehi Sambatang Punya Sampadang Sabbe Deva Anumudan Hu Sambasang Patti Siddhya Ittavataj Amehi Sambatang Punya Sampadang Sabbe Bhuta Anumudan Hu Sambasang Patti Siddhya Ittavataj Amehi Sambatang Punya Sampadang Sabbe Satta Anumudan Hu Sambasang Patti Siddhya Aka Satta Chibumata Deva Naga Mahitika Punyantang Anumu Ditwa Chirang Rakang Kulu Kasasanang Aka Satta Chibumata Deva Naga Mahitika Punyantang Anumu Ditwa Chirang Rakang Kuli Sanang Aka Satta Chibumata Deva Naga Mahitika Punyantang Anumu Ditwa Chirang Rakhang Tumang Paranti, Chirang Rakhang Tumang Sadati. May we be in the company of the Kalyanamitas till we attain Nibbana. Thinking thus, we're going to make a wish. Imina Punya Kamene, Mami Bala Samagamu, Satang Samagamu, Hotu, Yahweh Nibbana Patiya. Finally, may all the good karmas which have been accumulating today be supportive and helpful for all of us to attain the supreme bliss of Nirvana. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Abhivadana silis nichang vadha pacha inu chattaru dhamma vadhanti ayuvannu sukhang balan ayuraru ke sampatti sagga sampatti me vich atu nibbana sampatti Iminati Samidhanjaku Sadhu 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 Wishing everybody a good night and uh, take care until you see, till I see you all next Thursday. Good night, everyone. Thank you, Bhante. 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 Thank you, Bhante.